What's up, you guys? We are here to do a lemon water review. Um, so the first clip you're gonna watch is me just actually making the lemon water. So I'll show you how my hair looks, like my length and all that another day. Today's Easter. So I don't wanna like take everything down and then show y'all. I want it to be low key cute because I ain't doing none today. So I might as well make <laughs> show y'all me cute, all right? I'm gonna do my own like routine. I looked up like do's and don'ts. So I'm still gonna do my own routine. So I know you're not really supposed to leave it in for too long or overnight, but I'm still gonna leave it in overnight. Um, and I'm still gonna wash that with shampoo. And those are two things that are not all the way recommended, but that uh, it's gonna work for my routine. So. It's gonna work for me. But if you are new here, my name is Smiley. Ooh. And welcome to my life. I don't need a people, but I gotta let it go. And I and I do what you say. I don't need a people, but I gotta let it go. I don't know if you can just use any rice, so I'm gonna use uh, jasmine rice because that's what I see mostly use, but I am gonna try brown rice. And yeah. So we're gonna just try half a cup because that's what I notice most people are using. So here's half a cup of jasmine rice. We're gonna, we're gonna try it out. And cold water. It's too lazy to like put it in a bowl and wash it around in a bowl and clean that bowl out. Honey, I don't got time for that. Mm -hmm. And some people don't even wash their rice, but honey, I don't know if they wash it. You, you gotta wash it before you eat it, you can wash it before you put it on your hair. And... Okay, so we have my empty jar. This is a 16 ounce mason jar. And then we have a funnel to pour the rice in. This is the rinsed um, jasmine rice, and then I have some lemon pills. I don't know what I'm going to do with the actual lemon. And then I have some lavender and some peppermint. I used to use um, Miel Organics peppermint almond oil, so I know that's going to be fire. I looked up what other oils you can use. They say lavender, geranium, rose, rosemary. Uh, yang yang just a whole bunch so and i'm gonna try each of them different times um but i know i want to try peppermint first because i know peppermint worked really well with my 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 organics and lavender because i'm recently sober i'm two weeks in a day sober so i feel like this will help calm my nerves um and just keep me calm because it's stressful right now got a lot going on and they said it's good i don't know what they're gonna do for the hair but it's gonna be good for me so i'm gonna just Put all of these in a container with some water. So first, I'm going to put the rice in the funnel. Any day now. Okay, I feel like this is too much rice. This is half a cup. I, I just don't know. I'm going to add the lavender to it. This is the lavender. And we're gonna add, I don't even know how many drops. You can count. I'm just gonna add like one whole, like, pincher or whatever this is called. And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna rinse it out because I don't like to mix my oil. I'm gonna add the peppermint again, one. One squeeze, one full squeeze of it. Okay. And then we're going to add the lemon peels, honey. They said they're supposed to add like the, all this stuff because it's supposed to stink. And I love the way rice water smells, but I ain't never had it for a week. Okay, that's what I was going to say. So I've seen some people do it for 24 hours. Some people do it right away if you cook it. Um, and for me, I'm going to be doing this today's Sunday, Easter Sunday, and I'm going to be doing this for, I think I'm going to do, I'm either going to do it Tuesday night or Wednesday night. So two days, three days. Um, but I Googled it and it said, you're not supposed to do more than 24 hours. But again, I've been plenty of people doing more than 24 hours, but I'm going to put it in the refrigerator just to be safe. And I'm going to add water now. I don't know how much 
how cold it's supposed to be. I know I'm going to add the water to, like, the fill line. But I don't really know how cold it's supposed to be. So I'm going to put it, like, room temperature. Or a little colder than room temperature. Here it is that. I don't know if you're supposed to mix it up. I just don't know a lot, obviously. I usually see people just like leave it, but I'm gonna mix it up. It's probably just gonna have it fall down anyway, but like have the. Alright, I gotta hurry up because I'm almost out of space. But here's what it's looking like a little fuzzy. I mixed it all together. It smells amazing right now. It smells like lemon, citrus, peppermint. It smells good, okay? It smells good. It smells like a hair product, actually. I don't really smell rice that much the next clip you're gonna see i'm gonna show you guys my hair and like actually go in the process with you is what i'm gonna do with the lemon water i'm gonna leave this in my refrigerator until tuesday night or wednesday night when i'll be back with you guys okay i threw I th what i did was make some lemonade with the rest of that lemon okay update my friend was like that is way too much rice so i lowered it down hopefully this is better if i need to take out more just let yeah girl no uh yeah <laughs> so it's been like a week i got sick so that's why i haven't done it um but here's what it's looking like if i open this and it smells bad i'm not gonna use it but we're gonna see okay okay then it have like that so that's good I know, it smells good. It smells good. It's fine. Um, but, so I have to do this in the bathroom because my mom's using in the kitchen. I'm going to put the strainer and the funnel, okay? Okay. The after I thought the strainer got a little on my hands because it was simple, obviously. But, um, yeah, here's the jar. All right, I finished cleaning all that out. It was easy to clean. There wasn't nothing that was thinking like rice or anything else. So I love that. Plus, on that, okay? So here's my full bottle. It's full all the way to the top and of the rice water. I don't know. I'm mean, I know for a fact I'm not gonna be able to it's not gonna like finish all in this one. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep it because I, I don't think you can keep it for a week and I'm about to keep it for a longer, but I think it'll be fine. I'll just keep smelling it or seeing what it's gonna do. It's time for me to wash my hair for sure. Um so here's how my hair looks. You can kind of see the length. Um, if I pull it, my bottom, it goes to my collar length, like a little low, a little below it. And then my top goes to about shoulder length. If I can see it in the front, then it just goes to like right beneath my chin. And my middle hair is like my shoulders here like in my longer parts of my hair and that just goes like it's about to touch my shoulder and then let's look at my edges this is the way I want to grow so this is like you see my edges have been growing a little bit already I'm just trying to speed up the growth let me try to go in the light so y'all can see better um and then this is makes me better and you can just see I, I took out the braid on this side so you can't read to well, you can kind of see on the side like this. It's not, this one, this is always my worst side. I don't know why. But anyway, so yes. Like I said, it looks more bad because it's not like pulled together. And my, it's just really thin. So it looks more bald than what it is. But, um, yeah, so that's my hair. So I'm going to just do it in three sections. Part it, do the back, spray it, do the roots. And I'll show you kind of more like what I'm going to do. Um, when I get to the last section, I'm a little bit more embarrassed of that one, but this is what we're here for, okay? My edges, I feel like I got alopecia, alopecia for real, but anyways, my edges are always the slowest, like, growing. I, anytime, I, I messed them up a few times, have, like, doing braids too tight, and my edges take forever. Out of all parts of my hair, my edges take forever to grow, like, years. So, I can mess it up one time, and it takes years to grow back and not not just grow but to actually like get thicker so 
this is a lot of progress. It seems like it's not a lot, but trust me, this is a lot of progress. So say, I understand it's better if your hair is long in braids, but <laughs> I ain't doing no treatment. There's one thing that I learned about my hair, I gotta do with a medium, you know, like something I'm actually gonna do. And with clay mask, and it works really well for my hair. It's really well for making my texture great. And with any type of like treatment, or anything that's gonna take a while, even though this is probably gonna take that long, I learned it's just better to do it in these braids, honey. Ooh, that's how much that. <laughs> okay, I like the way it smells. It's giving me a little tingle from that peppermint. I love it. I love it. I love it. I was really thinking it's gonna stink, but it actually smells really good. I'm using this as a pre pool overnight, and then I'm going to be doing ooh that little tingle, and then I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm gonna shampoo and condition my hair tomorrow. I have a little raw city hair, so I shampoo my hair uh, every time. I don't do co washes. They say you can do apple cider vinegar rinse to take this out. Some people say don't do like shampoo, but again, I have a low raw city hair, so I always shampoo my hair. And it's been working fine for my hair. My hair doesn't be stripped. I actually have more moisture in my hair now that I've been doing shampoo every time because I, again, I have low raw city hair, which means my hair has a hard time absorbing it's so when i do my review my four week review is going to be like two weeks of the spray and then a clay mask that i'm not going to do a rice water on the day i'm doing a clay mask and then another two weeks without and then it'll be my four week review with the rice water okay but normally like after that like for my two month review I, then it's just going to be like four straight weeks it's just gonna have another clay mask in like months. So I know I really need to do one. So then it's gonna be like four more straight weeks and then I'll do another clay mask. I'll do a review and then I'll do a clay mask after that. If y'all wanna see me do like a clay mask, I can do that. No problem, no problem. Okay. Anyway, if y'all might as well just stay on. Alright, so Really gotta get the ends, honey. Ends, 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 honey. Ends. I have like a phobia of like hair touching me. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Anyways, so let's just do the last part together. So here's the before <laughs> and here's the after. <laughs> okay, so let's do this one. So the first thing I was doing is spraying my edges. Woo! I hate water dripping on me. Rubbing it in. I don't know what happened. I had a scalp massager from Vanity Plenty. I swear somebody took it. Because I'm like, I swear I brought it here and I can't. I brought it to my mom's house right? and I can't find it. So anyways, I'm just going to go around the whole section. Like the square, the perimeter. I did this for each section. I'm just showing y'all more detail of what I'm doing. If you have any advice besides what I already mentioned that I don't care about, um, that I'm, I'm working, I'm doing it anyways. Like the overnight and how long I'm leaving the thing in for. Then yeah, then I really don't care about that because I know that's not the best opportunity. I mean, the best idea. That everybody's gonna recommend, but I'll be alright. And I really don't care to make my hair like too much thicker. I just want to improve my growth time because I've been growing okay. I think my hair grows pretty like average. Two years ago, if you look at my uh, profile picture on YouTube, then you'll see that's what my hair was like two years ago. Two and a half. So my hair is growing. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I'm gonna split this again because, ooh, I'm eventually gonna put some more on the itchy parts because, honey, peppermint come through. <laughs> okay, anyways, this is not like the most organized, but it's gonna work today. I used to have, like, it, like when I did my braids and it was too tight, I literally messed it up all the way from here to back here to. Okay, so I had to finish this on Snapchat because I'm not trying to wait till it finishes giving me some more space, honey. 
Okay, so here's what it's looking like. You know what I'm saying? You can tell it's mushed up. Right. Here's what it's looking like. You can see kind of my lid too from here. I'm still very proud of my hair. I put it on like backwards, like with, with this on the front. Cause I usually, I think you're supposed to put it on the other ways, but if it's better, like my hair. Because these caps are not super big. I got them from Sheen. And they're not super big. But they fit there, they will. My hair isn't like in braids or in plaits or something. But my hair is like all the way out. Mm -mm. I have to put like two. But anyway, so after that, I'm gonna put like my scarf on. That's like my head. You know that. That is that. That's shut up. I don't know what the words are, but I've been. It keeps popping up on like every video on my YouTube shorts. So. And I'm always watching it and always liking it, so I know why it pops up. But I have this like my hair right now. That's terrible. That is terrible. So now I'm gonna put my bonnie. My braid bonnet, whatever this is called. Braid lock bonnet. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh, really quick, really quick. Uh, yeah, so the bottle is about halfway gone now. A little less than halfway, y'all can see it though. Now I know that this lasts with me another two weeks, so that's good. That means I don't have to do it every time, which is <laughs> that's good. <laughs> That's good. That's that's good. Your yeah, yeah, girl, lazy, low key, <laughs> low key, you know. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna just clean up the sink a little bit. It don't got too much hair. I'll show you guys. Um. So you guys can just get the full process. But yeah. So now I gotta clean up the sink. Um. Should have used the hair thing, but. Good morning, you guys. We are back, and I have to hurry up because I'm trying to make it before the eclipse with me washing my hair. I gotta take a lift to my brother's house because. He wasn't answering at first, so I, I didn't think I was going over there. But now he answers, so now I'm going. <laughs> As you can see, it's been soaking all night. So that is moist, honey. Moist. Okay, I remember to check my hair and then make sure it's not falling. Okay. <laughs> so this is like how long my hair is. That's like the back. Let me try to get like a side view. <laughs> I can't even like. <laughs> So that's how long my hair is, okay? Um, from the back. So, yep, it looks very good, feels good. Feels very moisturized, my hair. How does it smell? So it's been in my hair for about 12 hours, which is more than what I would normally do. I know you don't want to do even too much protein, uh, dry or brittle, to the time. Um, it doesn't feel dry or brittle. Maybe just a little. <laughs> it just feels like it was soaking in for a while. But um, yeah, it still feels very moisturized. It feels like my hair feels like very like heavy, not heavy, but like moisturized and like a little, like a little weight to it. Um, smells, it smells okay. It doesn't smell like my normal hair products. You could definitely smell that rice, the more it's been soaking in my hair. Um, so yeah, so it feels very soft, moisturized. It feels good, honey. I'm rushing because of the eclipse. Happy eclipse, y'all. Okay, so I gotta quickly wash my hair. I wash my hair warm always. All the way because again, low frosted, so I have to open my pores to make sure the moisture or any product gets in. It feels like a lot more moisturized than what it is when I normally wash my hair. It feels like the product is like my my hair is getting a lot more water absorbed into it faster. I believe. Boo boo shampoo. I just put a whole bunch of shampoo on the back. Like, okay, honey, how's that gonna help us today? So, hi. This shampoo has so fake, so I do not wash my hair twice. Anytime I'm washing with so fake, I do not wash my hair. I do not wash it twice. So, I'm gonna wash it twice. So, I'm gonna wash it twice. So, I'm gonna wash it twice. So, I'm
since I wrote my step, that tingling sensation is coming back again. You feel like a little bit more dry than we usually do, but not super dry. It don't feel brittle. Not too much. Again, I did do super slow face shampoo. All right. So next up, bring that up. Now we're going to use the conditioner. So the shampoo I use is the Neutralizing Moisturizing Shampoo from Silk Elements. I'm going with the Silk Elements Moisturizing Conditioner. This is what I got from Sally's this lid. It makes this so much better than trying to like squeeze it out. I actually threw away the one that had my last shampoo. So that's why I'm using like the squeeze it, the regular one that came with it. It's not that conditioner that I got it really absorbed really quick. I only took like one thing of conditioner and it's like done, bruh. So that's different than what it normally does. I'm gonna get my deep conditioner and my high head ready. I like to sit, let this sit for like a few minutes, but I'm just gonna get like the rest of the supplies that I need ready <laughs> if that's what I do in a few minutes, okay? All right, I'm back. So I'm gonna rinse this out. It hasn't even been that long. It's been like a minute and a half, <laughs> maybe two, but I'm gonna rinse this out. And I'm going to put in this argan oil with Hawaiian Silky Argan Oil Hydrating Intense Repair Mask. This is like a treatment. And like, so I, I would normally just do, I usually do a moisturizing deep conditioner. But I had to use this so it's gone. I've been having it, if you can't tell, for a while. So yeah, and then here's my hot head. Well, this is a thermal conditioning cap from Sally Beauty, y'all. For those with the hot heads, the like hot heads, Sally Beauty got hot heads. But they're thermal conditioning caps. Um, they all come in the same print, okay, Sally Plug, because they're ten dollars. No, they're, they're like fifteen dollars less than the hot heads, because the hot heads are like thirty four. This is twenty bucks. So, yes, and you can get it with a free two hour delivery from Sally's. Two hour delivery from Sally's when you order before four, and you, your order is over thirty five dollars. And again, it's is twenty bucks. So you need fifteen more bucks to get you a mask. There you go. Um, and then I, you know, my, another cap. And you use use this like you use a hot head, 45 seconds, dip it inside out, turn it up, turn it down. You know what I'm saying? Flip it every time. You, it, 45 seconds, flip it out. 45 seconds, turn it upside down, and then it will come out right. Because some people I see are complaining, but you, I don't they really know how to do hot head. Don't follow the instructions of leaving it in and the same thing for three minutes. No, that's how you're going to get heat in one place for too much or, you know what I'm saying, not the other places. Flip it out, do it again. So again, I'm gonna put the water back on, put it back on to warm, warm to high, medium high, whatever, okay? And then I'm gonna put the repair mask on and then I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna start warming this up. Okay, let's get to it. Like my scalp feels good, honey. All right. So now I'm gonna add the hair mask. Put this on my hand. All good. You cannot wash hot heads, so that's why you have to make sure you have all it no product around because you cannot wash it. I'm putting it in for 45 seconds and I'm gonna flip it over 45 seconds and then I'm gonna turn it upside down 45 seconds. It should be done. If it's not done, I'll turn it and then I'll turn it upside down again 45 seconds. Do not just leave it in for three minutes. We are back guys and we are out of time. But anyway, so I usually leave it on just a little bit longer because I don't know if it's gonna be like, yeah, it's still a little wet. It's still like 60% wet. Um, it smells great. That mask really made my hair have a lot more moisture, okay? Um, so here's what we're looking like, honey. Honey. Okay. So I usually sometimes do the LCO method, which is leave-in conditioner spray or liquid cream and then an oil to seal it. Um, when I wash my hair 
or I do sometimes I do oil on my scalp and grease on my hair. But today we got a tan. So I need to make sure my scalp has something and my hair has something. So I'm just going to use grease. This is the Africa's Best. It smells amazing. Africa's Best Maximum, maximum Strength Super Grow Hair and Scalp Conditioner, which eliminates dryness and breakage. Deep penetrating formula with ginseng. Um, it has olive oil, coconut oil, sesame oil. It has a lot of stuff. Almond oil. All right. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that on my hair. And I usually like to, whenever I do it, I usually put another plastic cap on and then another hot head because I got two hot heads because you got to have two hot heads because, you know, you got a little bit of moisture that gets on the hot head with the first time. And if you put it back in the microwave, it's going to get hard and it's going to run a hot head. So that's why you got to have two hot heads or two conditioning caps. I'm going to hang this bad bitch. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just going to put the grease on my scalp. I'm not trying to make it perfect. Your girl is out of time, honey. The the, the cliss is about to start in like five minutes, but the peak time is at like 12, 30, so that's an hour. And it takes me like 30 minutes in an Uber to get there. And the Ubers are usually, I live, by, I live, I live downtown, so the Ubers usually get to me pretty fast. So I'm going to order it after I finish doing my hair. So, yeah, like I said, it's a little bit more wet than what I would usually like, but it's actually not that bad because the grease is thick. So, yeah. And then, yeah, usually after I do my hot head and I do it on the cap, then it's usually, like, soaking wet. So, I, I blow dry it just a little bit. Not until it's, like, all the way dry, but I just so my hair isn't, like, dripping. And then, um, and then I just let it air dry. But today... <laughs> We just want to let it air dry. Thank God it's about to be a nice day. I don't know if I'm, I, th I think, I don't know what I'm usually going to do. I'm purposely not going to put it on my edges too much. I'm going to put it on this one because I'm not going to do, I don't think I'm going to put edge gel there. But, um, because it's not going to put, it's not going to, the edge gel ain't going to work if you put grease on it. But I usually like to put, don't like to put edge gel on my hair, like the same day I wash my hair. So yeah, so yes, I'm just putting it everywhere, and I would usually do it a little bit more organized. I quit a clip like the same way I did the um the rice water. Just make sure, filling my scalp just to make sure I got all areas, especially the middle of my hair, because that's where it gets really itchy. That's why sometimes instead of grease, I put sulfur eight on my scalp. The sulfur eight anti ginger. One on my scalp, but it feels great. Okay, usually my hair don't feel this great with the grease. It feels like it's very moisturized. It feels really healthy, and I only use it one time. Like it feels, you could just tell. Like I did something healthy to it today. Probably that in the minutes. Plus, plus. Okay. Plus, plus. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna do, and then put. And then the, the edge I use is has oil in it, has black cast oil. So I would say it too! Ooh, get it from Sally's. It's like expensive, but it's really good. Make sure you don't have no product on your hair, on your edges, or whatever you're doing when you're using suavecito. And it will work. The edges stay on all day, honey. Especially if you like set it, like wrap it down. Honey, where is it going? It ain't going nowhere. Even in the summertime, any girl. Suavecito! And it makes my hair like not. Like too greasy. I mean, not too. Uh, it does not leave that white cast. And this, if I put like too much, or if I have product on my hair. Now I'm just like feeling around, just to make sure the grease is in every part. Like I don't see, feel nothing that doesn't have too much or doesn't have enough. Or else I'm gonna put more. Cause I still want it to be like soaking in my hair throughout the day. So, yeah. Okay. All right. It looks like I'm using a lot, but I'm just putting like a little at each time. Oh, I really wish I could put my high head, but it's all right. So this is my final 
results moisturized healthy feels so like way more soft way more moisturized it feels good okay if that feels good it feels great like i was a little worried because i was like oh and when i was first washing it out and just putting the conditioner but after that deep conditioning and i didn't even deep condition my hair for the full time because i left i put my, i took out my hair before it got all the way cool and I washed it out right away because, I, again, we out of time. So, again, hopefully y'all can see it pretty well. Hopefully y'all can see that shine, that moisture, that love. You can tell my hair was loved today. Okay. When I'm heading down, I got my purse. I got my Bible. My purse has some snacks. I got some water. I got some water. I'm heading down to meet my Uber. We don't know what we gonna need today, okay? I even got my Hebrew cards in this case I'm gonna study there. Hey, because they say this might be the time Jesus is coming. I doubt it because nobody would know the now. But, gotta go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's also the shot of my hair. <laughs> so here's my final study of what I'm doing today. Okay, now I gotta see find my Uber. Okay, but if you guys like this video, my name is Smiley Z. If you want, I'll do the outro. No, I want to get to my brother's house. Okay, as you guys can see, I made it back home. But um, yeah, so that eclipse did nothing. I had to make it back home so I can let my mom is how they lock it out. But yes, again, look at my hair. Cute, cute. It's all like. 70% dry now. I'm probably gonna take it out of my ponytail so it can or so it's not just like my ponytail that's not dry. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and join the family to join the family and to keep up with me and to keep up on this like oh that's actually looks pretty good. Okay, and to keep up on this hair care journey and keep up on my spiritual journey because it's getting crazy over here. I got so much videos to post, so much spiritual encounters, spiritual things that has happened. If you guys want to keep up on my journey, I would very much appreciate it. And to keep up on my journey, you have to press the subscribe button. As if you press the subscribe button, you have to press the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a video. And that being said, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful life. I hope you guys have a wonderful haircut journey of your own, a spiritual journey. This eclipse did nothing, honey. In Denver, Colorado, I see nothing. My brother has some glasses, which I'll post right here. Um, and yeah, so I was able to see it, but it didn't like we didn't get a full eclipse, so it wasn't nothing really showed out in the world like I was thinking it was going to happen. So I'm gonna see what happens on the internet and we'll see what happens. But <clears throat> that being said, I love you guys. And yeah, happy eclipse, everyone. I'll hopefully I'll edit this video today or within the next few days. And I'll see you guys soon. Again, I wish you all peace, love, light, prosperity. Stay with the Holy Spirit. Stay with Jesus Christ. One thing I wanted to say that I'm realizing more and more now is, of course, I know a lot of Christians are not Christians. But if you I have to follow every little thing that people say, like... Someone please tell me where it says that Jesus was nailed to a cross in the Bible. That doesn't mean he wasn't. I'm not saying he wasn't. But I'm like, it's it's crazy how I just figured that out. And I was trying to Google it and look for different verses on online. And they really couldn't find a verse where it said he was nailed in his hands to the cross. But that is just crazy. I just want to say that Christians are not, you are not really Christian if you can't think for yourself, if you go by every little word that's in the Bible, because ain't nobody, not one person in the Bible was perfect, except for God when they mentioned God, <laughs> and not the Lord. The Lord and the Lord God are two different beings, okay? You kind of, I'm starting to catch on to that. That's another hint that I'm going to give to y'all, another tip, trick, whatever, Pay attention to how, when it says the Lord, how the Lord is acting, and if it's perfection, or when it says the Lord God, and see how that is acting in the Bible, and tell me how, if you don't see the difference. 
if you follow every little word in the Bible, you're not really Christian. Because again, nobody in the Bible is perfect. So if you follow every little word, you're not perfect. You're not really catching on to the true God. You're not. You're not. Okay? That's why Jesus, and people are like, oh my God, he's, he's going against the Torah. Oh, he's calling sinners to follow him. And da 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 Why do you think Jesus didn't do everything in the Torah, but he still believed very much in the God of the Torah? And you want to be Christian in Christ's life? No, honey. People need to wake up. A lot of people think they're waking up from getting away from certain spirituality, like crystals and shades and all that. But y'all still stuck. Y'all still stuck. If y'all going, oop. If y'all going by everything in every single word in the Bible, you still stuck. Cause ain't nobody in the Bible perfect, and it wasn't nobody God. All right, besides God is it? All right. We are growing. We're elevating over here. Period. Love you guys. Bye. I literally was cute for like two hours. <laughs> like I had my makeup on for like three hours, but I'm about to get in the shower because you know, I got shit to do. <laughs> I love that that I'm not like doing too much not anymore, but it's all that work for no reason. Like, bro.